Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and in the last episode we worked down the kind of scoopy bit up here and created a little fin on the back and we also did a little bit of work on the side here as well so in this episode what I think what we'll do is we are going to work along the rear section here so first what we actually could do as well is we could start having to think about the side skirt and I'll just add to a little bit more to that side section there Look at these reference images here. Um, yeah, we could we could have a look at that as well. Um, one of the things that I'd like to get done in this episode is kind of fill in the gap that we have here. Now, we're actually a little bit lucky with this car because in terms of where these sections kind of finish up, I can look through my references here. Get yep, all of these um, area here everything down here kind of falls underneath this kind of tray that we have. So this tray is going to hide a lot of any imperfections that we actually have. Um, so it kind of means that we can be a little bit lazy around um, this rear section here. So what we'll actually do is we will work on this bit just now. So we'll grab all of the edges here. Now the only thing I think we really actually need to join specifically is these bits. So we'll maybe bring this bit around here. Um, now it looks like the fin actually comes to a stop around this point. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab all these vertices here and I'm going to scale them off so the fin kind of fades out. I'll maybe bring that back down here. So that's looking good. Um, if we get to our rear view side here. I just want to make sure that all of this is set nicely, so I'll just go up here, here, put these down, oops, put these down just a little bit here. And what we'll also want to do is we'll also want to drop these down so we can see that these actually sit down here like so. to this section here and pull all these points up so we've got a nice kind of curved rear archy bit and maybe these points here will actually take down So, we can actually be a little bit messy here, and it should be fine. Now, this section appears to actually come away from this bit here. So what we'll actually do is we're going to grab these points, grab all of these here, hit Control E, and I think we can just bring them here. Along here. Now this is going to be that extra kind of triple scoop bit that's going to save us. Let's pull that in there. Let's see on our rear view here. Kind of just going along underneath there like so. That looks pretty good to me. Now it looks like however this bit I want to bring back want to be something like that. So maybe we can bring that over here. We could actually merge these two together. So I'll we'll actually do the same with these here. We'll merge those. And then with these points we'll just kind of bring back here. Like so kind of looks like same how it should maybe these points here will maybe take down like so. okay let's 
it's looking okay. So what we could actually do here is maybe take all of these points and bring these down here as well. those to the center and do the same there as well. So you we can kind of see that we've got like kind of a little skimpy linear section there. Now all of that is going to be pretty much hidden by the bit that we're going to model just now. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to grab all of these points. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm actually just going to extrude those down a little bit inside there. Something like that. And we can delete these. These additional. I think we missed a few faces there. Let's go back. Let's try that again. Excess faces, and up here we could maybe just have these points kind of come in. Add a little bit more curvature there. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Now, what we're going to do for this new section, let me just check the references here. So it looks like this new section starts open and around this area as well. So what we'll do is I think we'll model this off a brand new plane. So I'll bring this up into position here. And I'm just going to take away all the subdivisions inside there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the flat section. So the flat section looks like it goes up until around here. Um, it looks fairly flat according to my references, so let's just kind of bring these into position over here. fairly flat up until this point here. Now, actually, maybe it's about here. So 
So it looks like we're flattened to around here. And then it starts to actually curve up and reflect the shape of the body. So let's just grab those points. I'm going to move them down, maybe. Maybe it's not flat, maybe it kind of scoops up and in. Maybe move that down a little bit. And what we'll do is let's get the basic shape of this. I'll grab this edge here. I'll take this down to around there. I'll do the same again. We'll just get the basic shape of this as it goes up the way here. It looks like it goes to about there. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to insert some edge loops and I'm going to do each of those there. And the reason I'm going to do those now is because drop that in because these are fairly straight. So we don't want to curve this edge off and then end up with an edge loop that's got to curve into it. So we'll pull that into position just now. And maybe take all of these here like. So, this edge here can go in, this one here can start to make that turn kind of like there. Okay, so, it looks like this is the first point in which it starts to move up the way. So we'll grab all of these here. And it is fairly severe, so we'll go something like that. Like that. And then like that. Okay. So you can see we kind of want that to be in line there, so that's looking pretty good. underneath there, I'm going to take that down a little bit as well. Now what I might do with this is I'm going to grab the vertices and I'm actually just going to snap it to this point here. Snap this one as well to that point. So now I'm going to delete this inside line. So I'll hit Edit mesh, delete edge and vertices, and that will allow me quickly just to snap this to that corresponding section as well. add in these lines again, so we'll go to our insert edge loop, and we're going to want to take that section there, here, and take that as well, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from world to component, 
So this means now that we shouldn't be affecting the actual shape we've just laid out in order to align these vertices as they should be. lined up here the best we can. And we will insert some edge loops here. We've got we need one like so. We need one here. Here. Endpoints for each of those. Have a starting point for each of those one. So what we'll do is we'll grab our first one here. And it looks actually I'm not bang in the center here. elements in that we're still following the correct line down here, so it looks like it kind of comes in. Okay, so we kind of have to do this by eye, so we'll grab all of those, I'm going to hit Control E, and just bring this up, let's have a look here, it's something, something like that, which will be fine. And then we're going to want to scale that all the way in here. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now, at this point here, it's going to want to come all the way back. Kind of scoop up and then kind of drops down. And it's actually drops down so it's pretty much straight. Same here for our new section. Just grab all the correct parts here. I'm going to hit Control E there as well, and we'll take that up. Now, this is actually a very similar shape and height, so we'll go something like that. And if we do anything scale this down. We'll do it quite considerably because it is going to be doubled. So we'll do something like that. We'll delete all these rear faces here. Okay. And it follows pretty much the same kind of shape that we have. So let's kind of mimic this but a little bit taller. Pretty good. 
good. And then finally, let's grab this section here. Control E on this. On our world option, we'll pull this up. And it doesn't look like it goes quite as high this time. About there. And again, can go something like this. And get to narrow down on this point here. Do the same for these points. Scale those in so they kind of go to a pinch. Grab this one here as well. Do the same up front. want to do here is we're going to delete oops I'm actually going to delete this rear section I'm going to just curve that off what it actually looks like is it looks like this rear section never really actually goes all the way back down so, I think for this edge here, we'll extrude up and along, extrude again, and the roll option, take this around. Actually, delete this here. Just going to refill in this space because I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to extrude this again. Because it looks like all of this section here actually sticks up. So we'll go. These points. So I'm going to want to insert some edge loops along this point here. Second in there. I want to merge all of these here. So we'll hold down V and we'll merge all of these to these sections.
you guys. So I'm not sure exactly what was happening there. It wasn't seeming to work too well, but let's go again with this extrusion now. So we'll grab all of these areas here. Can actually get in there. Perfect. And I'm just going to hit Control E and extrude those up. So, and again, I'm just going to work in the side view here. I'm just going to remodel this to look roughly as it did a few seconds ago. Something like that. Now it looks like this comes down just for a second, and then all of these kind of kick back up like so. And what we'll actually do is all of these intersections here. I'm going to pull it in because it's more of a, of a scoop than anything else. So pull all of those in and take these ones as well. And we'll delete any excess face around here. What we we'll, could also do with these vertices is we'll grab these here. And those ones there. We'll go for these two. Not that one. And we'll pull these up slightly as well. Quite a nice. To this, what we'll do is select the right section here. Pull these points back close together. We'll take all of these points here. is let's quickly delete the history of this element, let's choose the transformations, let's center that pivot. And let's attempt to flip this here on the x-axis. So see how we've got that cool kind of aerodynamic tray in there. All those little bits popping up, that's looking pretty good. Okay, looking pretty happy with that. So, I think we'll finish that episode off just there. Um, what we'll do in the next episode is we'll hopefully, after the third time I'm saying, we'll hopefully get onto this section here start to kind of bridge that gap in there. Um, also, what we could actually do, maybe we could fix this bit up here real quick. So we can kind of grab all of these points here, take those in. So we can maybe grab these and do that little drop down 
that there. I think what we'll want to do with this is we'll want to lower it down so it's kind of dipping. Just kind of follow the same kind of depth as the area around. Let's see. Looks pretty good, and that's ready to take in an extrude. Okay, guys, cool. So, in the next episode, like I said, we'll finally maybe get around to bridging the gap here. Um, once we've done that, it will be a case of just double checking that we've got all the areas kind of nailed on, and then we can start thinking about extracting the panels, getting this thing smoothed. All right, guys. So, I'll see you in the next one.